Charlie? How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. But... <laughs> oh God, no. Charlie! Hello, and welcome to my repository. I am the curator. The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions or should I say decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer that's all for the moment 
We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. Feast your eyes on this. Whoa, hey, look at that. What is it? Looks like a bomber. Can you zoom in? Oh, yeah, definitely a B-20. During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. They and... were just, like, so dope. Ah, oh, so dope. Oh, my God. Yeah, sorry, yeah. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish, both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well.